Hello everyone, it's Lolita and welcome to another episode of Lolita Loves It. As you can tell from the name of this video that this is going to be a vlog. If you've been following me for a while, you know that for some reason, I've never done vlogs. So this is gonna be completely different type of content, but let me just give you a little backstory. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lolita Cornegay. I am a full-time entrepreneur. I am currently running three businesses right now, plus this YouTube channel, plus TikTok, plus Instagram, and all that other type of stuff, right? <laughs> so I always have a lot going on. Normally on my channel, I have very structured like how-to videos that help you guys out, but this is what I've noticed. Over the past couple months, it's just really hard for me to keep up with producing content while running businesses, trying to, it's just a lot happening. And so, I was sitting around thinking the other day about the type of content that I can produce for you guys consistently without falling off like I've been falling off because I know you hate that when I do a bunch of content and then I go silent for like three months and you're like, where does she go? So in order for me not to do that, I have decided to incorporate more vlogs into my channel because it's just so much easier for me to set up the camera, do what I'm doing, talk to you guys at the same time, teach you some stuff while I'm doing it, show you the things that I like while I'm using them, etc. So this is going to be new content and I'm really, really excited about this. And what's interesting is that when I first got put onto YouTube a couple of years ago, the reason that I started watching YouTube was because of people's vlogs. I ended up following a couple of lifestyle vloggers and I was like, this is amazing. I love watching their lives and everything that they do. And it's crazy that I've never done the same type of content. <laughs> Like, just the other day, I had an aha moment. I was like, Lolita, just make vlogs. You like watching vlogs. People like watching vlogs, so that's what I'm going to do. So, today, I am going to give you some behind the scenes. You're going to stay with me all day because I have Etsy orders that I need to get done. I need to embroider. I need to ship out. I'm having meetings. I just hired a new virtual assistant, so today is her first day on the job. Um, I can show you guys some of that type of stuff. So, I have a lot of setting up to do I have some unboxings to do it's all going to be in this video so this is going to be a really fun day um, if you have not already make sure that you follow me on TikTok because what I have been doing is I have been growing my Etsy shops TikTok accounts um, a lot lately so you can see a lot of content on TikTok Instagram, I really hate the Instagram algorithm. I just feels like it does not like me at all. But I'm still posting on Instagram. And if you follow me on Lolita Loves It Instagram, I'm doing a lot of like vlog style reels on there too. Because it's easier for me just to take you guys with me as I go places around Atlanta. So if you want to see what I'm doing like around Atlanta, um, Lolita Loves It Instagram, you will see tons of restaurants to go to and places to hit up, events to go to and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get my day started. Okay guys, so this is a behind the scenes of my office. It's an actual mess right now. <laughs> As you can see, this is a day bed, but it really just coll collects a lot of junk mail and randomness on the day bed. This is my office desk here where primarily when I shoot videos, you guys see just like this part of the desk, but this is the entire part. Um, this is like my work shipping area, workspace area, sewing area. And then over here, we have the embroidery machine and a bunch of stuff here. Okay guys, so as you see, my office is a complete mess and I don't like to work in a mess. I'm a very organized person. So this office just drives me crazy anyway because I don't have enough storage in here. But what I'm about to do now is I gotta straighten up so that I can be productive. So I'm gonna straighten up the office so essentially I can mess it up all over again, but that's what I need to do right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so this is my front door. As you can see, I have a bunch of Amazon orders here and here. I know that these are all related to business stuff, so I'm gonna start taking these upstairs and unboxing them. So I just brought all of my Amazon packages upstairs. Let me unbox them right now, and we can see what I ordered this round. I really order from Amazon, like, daily. <laughs> So let's see what we have here. Okay, I know what these are. So these are bathrobes. <laughs> I have two bathrobes here because, guys, I started doing these gift boxes with bathrobes and towels and like little treats in them and people are loving them so far. So these are a couple of the bathrobes that I need to get done. Um, very soon i don't know if i'm gonna do them today but i need to get those done very soon so the way that i do things when um i don't keep an inventory of items here okay <laughs> so if you are a small business owner and you don't have a lot of space and you can't just buy a whole bunch of bulk stuff at one time what i do is i wait for people to place an order then i place my order to my supplier for whatever i need so for this situation for these bathrobes i buy them from amazon <laughs> So once somebody places an order with me, then I place an order with Amazon, then Amazon ships the bathrobes, then I make the bathrobes and embroider them, and then I ship them off to the client. That's just the way that I flow. It's easy for me, and I usually tell um, my clients that there is a three to seven business day um, turnaround on products. So sometimes I can get things from Amazon super quickly, like, you know, one day. At the most, two days it takes to get here, but then it's on me how fast I actually embroider the things. Sometimes I embroider things like the same day I get the items from Amazon, and then I ship it off to my clients, sometimes the same day or the next day. But sometimes I have so many orders or so much going on that I have to put it on hold so that's why I have that three to seven day window so that at maximum it may take me seven business days but normally it doesn't take that long so that's how I protect myself now let's see what this is it says pull to open it literally says pull to open okay <laughs> okay this is much needed so guys, oh, if I can hold it. So this is toner for my laser um, printer. I have a laser printer, which is right over there. And it's Canon. And Canon toner is so unbelievably expensive. I'm talking about if I go to Staples, first of all, I have to have four toner cartridges in there, right? The different colors, the cyan, the yellow, the magenta, and the black, right? And so then each one of those cost about $130 a piece, which is ludicrous, ridiculous when you have to buy four and then they run out so fast because I print so much. So I started ordering from Amazon once again. These are off-brand premium cartridges. <laughs> and I get all four colors for like $60. So, I mean, it's a no-brainer. The only issue, I've been doing this for years now. Just use my phone. But the only issue that I've seen is that sometimes the cartridges leak. <laughs> These ones, sometimes they will leak and it will be a hot, absolute mess. But that's only happened to me one time where I had leaky cartridges that I had to throw away. Um, but otherwise, this is a good deal and they work perfectly within my printer. So I'm so happy I have these now. Because you know, with the Canon printer, if you don't um, replace the toner when they want it, you to replace the toner, it won't let you print. It, you literally, I literally have to go through like the back door and like force it to print just like one piece of paper because it's like you're out of toner. But what's interesting to me is that even though it says I'm out of toner, once I print whatever I'm printing, it looks gorgeous. So I'm like, obviously I'm not out of toner because it's still printing. So <laughs> I feel like Canon like tries to force you into buying those expensive cartridges way before you need to buy the expensive cartridges. So I've been using the, the toner that says is no toner. I've been using it for weeks and it still prints beautifully. Um, but it's just annoying that I can't just like hit the button and print. Sometimes I have to like go and do like a troubleshooter. I have to like force it to print and it's just annoying me. So I bought new toner. Now let's see what's in here. Oh, I'm excited about this one guys. 
so you saw earlier how i have these big studio lights because it's so dark in here even though to, to you guys watching this right now you're probably like well it's not dark it's sunshine it's not i have tricks of the camera i increase my exposure um i still have one of the studio lights on in the back so that we can get some light but guys those studio lights are cumbersome they are massive and then when i travel they're hard they're not necessarily hard to travel with but they're just bulky and they're big and you have to set them up and they're in the way and as you see in this space i don't have a lot of space so i have to put those big lights like on tables it's just a mess so i ordered this from amazon and i am so excited about it because these are tabletop lights like look how little they are compared to those huge ones that I was using before. So let's see here. You unzip it. Oh, and it pops open like so. Okay. And inside they have the light bulb. Oh, this is a diffuser, I think. And this is for the light socket. This is not like I'm excited. I'm a. Oh, and this is the stand to stand them on. Look how little the stand is. So this is going to be perfect for when I'm filming things like this. I can just stand this up right here on my table and have all the light without having this bulky equipment. So really excited about these. Okay, I'm going to set these up later. You'll see me set those up, but I'm really excited. Now let's see what's in here. <laughs> okay. So we have more bathrobes. <laughs> I know I need to do four bathrobes. I feel like, no, I think I'm right. I actually think I have to do five bathrobes because two plus two, and then I know I have another one somewhere around here. So I have lots of bathrobes to embroider. You'll see that. Okay, let's see this next package that we have here. Oh, okay. So during the pandemic, just like so many of you guys out there, I became like a plant mom and my plants are thriving indoors and outdoors. But one thing I noticed is that my house is dry. My house is dark and dry. <laughs> Not a good look. So I saw these, these, these like natural humidifiers on Amazon and I have had them bookmarked for like a year because I was like I don't think that those things work because normally with a humidifier you put the water in it right and then you plug it into the wall and then like the water vapor comes out these you don't plug into the wall let me show you what I mean all you're supposed to do that these are called this is by bluestone but I don't know exactly what these are called these are called like stone humidifiers I guess Let's see if I can open it Hold up. so from my understanding is there's there there are stones and you here we go look you get close. they come in two sizes let me undo it so you can see exactly what I meant okay but essentially Here's the stone and here's the dish and you put it in here and then you pour the water into it and it's supposed to like naturally release the the, the humidity into the air. Um, so I plan on putting these and there's two in here. Let me pull. So this is the large one and this is the small one. And I just plan on put, putting these next to my plants downstairs just to release the water and see if the humidity increases around my plants. So that's the game plan for that. I will put those up later. And honestly, if they work as good as some people on um, Amazon, the people on Amazon said they're supposed to really work. So if they work that good, then I might just put them around my house just to increase the humidity and not have dry skin anyway. Okay. And one last one left. I pretty much think I know what this is. Oh. Let's see. So the first gift box that I started off with is for like women. I'm calling it like a spa relaxation gift box with the robe. It comes with a towel and it comes with like a head wrap. So I'm doing a man's version of that. And in their version, they're going to have a robe, a towel, and this. This is a dop kit. You know, like when guys put their... um 
their shaving stuff and something and everything. So I ordered these. This is my first time seeing these from Amazon uh, because I'm going to embroider them later. Let's see. Okay. This isn't bad. It's basic. I wanted it to be really basic because I'm customizing it. So I didn't want it to distract from the customization. But this looks nice. It's just a basic dot kit right there. I'm going to jazz this up. It's going to be fabulous. The men are going to love this. So I'm excited about that. And then what is this? It looks like they gave me something returned. I'm pretty sure, sure this is a return product. Because if you look at this, it's in this plastic bag, but the bag underneath is like open. Everything in here is already open. Amazon. Let me see if the products are okay. Cause this is deco foil. I make um, handmade cards with one of my Etsy companies. And I'm really into like foil, putting foil on all my cards. Okay, so, and I ordered just a bunch of sample deco foils in here. Hopefully none of these are opened. I'm gonna go through and inspect them. But I ordered a bunch. Let's look at the colors. I want it, cause normally when I order this stuff, I order like pinks and stuff. But since this is Father's Day, I wanted to order more, you know, gender neutral stuff. So when I make their cards, they'll be more manly. So I did want black foil. I think this is gonna be gorgeous, black foil. And then this one, I don't know what it's called, but it's kind of like, um, oh, it's called rose gold. It doesn't look like rose gold to me, <laughs> does it? Doesn't look like that to me, but we'll see. Um, this one's like a copper. That's cool. This is a regular gold. And this one's like a a, a pure, pewter silver. Oh, this is gorgeous too. It's like a smoky silver. And then we have regular silver. So you guys will be seeing me use these very soon because I'll do another vlog when I'm making the cards for Father's Day. So I'm excited. Okay, so this is all of my unboxing. Now um, it's time to get to work. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but I have my two little bitty studio lights that I just bought and it is so bright in here and I feel like the clarity on this video is so good. Um, just really quickly, so far after unboxing them, I love the quality of these little studio lights. Like it wasn't cheap plastic. Like a lot of times I noticed that when I buy like these poles and different things, they're like lightweight and cheap. These were actually substantial and I actually hurt my hand trying to put it together because it's really substantial. So, so, so far so good. Um, let me show you really quickly how I have these set up. So this one I just have on my tabletop and it's facing me directly. And then over here I have another one um, the, the, it's so bright, it's not going to let you see it. But there, I have another one set up by my embroidery machine. And over here, I have still the big one giving me just light bouncing off the walls. So that's how I have my studio light set up right now. Now let's talk about what is left on my agenda. It is 10.35 in the morning, and I'm ready to actually start working at this moment. So I have an 11 o'clock conference call with my new virtual assistant. Um, I only met her virtually. She does not live in America. So um, she's from the Philippines. I only met her when we did our interview over Zoom like about a week ago. So today I'm going to meet with her and I'm just going to, you know, tell her what I need done and we're going to figure out some type of process or workflow. Now, I need a virtual assistant for so many reasons <laughs> and I've needed one for a long time. I've actually had two in the past that didn't necessarily work out. So with this one, I was really hesitant about hiring one again because I wanted to make sure that their tasks were very clear cut. Um, and so for me right now, I am drowning 
in emails. I have 10 email addresses and actually I think it might be 12 but I have a lot of email addresses. I would say out of the 10 email addresses um, a good six of them are active <laughs> meaning people are emailing me and they're waiting for me to reply and what I've noticed is that um, I just can't manage all of the emails and I'm missing opportunities like people are asking me for collabs asking me to do videos and asking me all type of stuff and I'm just like I'm overwhelmed so her job her first job is she's going to come in and help me get organized with these emails and all that type of stuff so that I won't miss out on opportunities anymore and I can stay focused and I'll know exactly what's going on okay so it is 11 o'clock and um now is the time for the zoom call she is um one minute late because it's just now 11 01 and that's not a good look for when you're starting a job on the first day being late to zoom let's see how this goes okay guys she's finally here let's see how this goes how are you hey alita hi good morning good morning i'm good <laughs> Okay guys, so I just got off the call with her. It's like 11.30, that only took 30 minutes. Essentially, I gave her access to one of my email accounts. I walked her through exactly what I want done. She's only working part-time, so she's working four hours a day for me. So we're gonna test it out and see how this flow works and hopefully it works good. And I can like get her for eight hours because I'll be making more money. So we'll see about that. And it's crazy because it's like 11.30 already and I really haven't like done a lot of work, but I'm hungry because I haven't had breakfast. And today is like Mondays and I like to eat Chick-fil-A on Mondays. So let's go to Chick-fil-A and then I'm going to start making my Etsy orders. To go around the world. To, to A number three, eight count. Because we want to get you to the next round of funding. And what can I get for the drink? Lemonade. It's not just our Any sauce brand. Like it's brand. Yeah, Polynesian. Oh, tomorrow. And also. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I just got finished eating, my stomach's full. Now it's time for me to get down to work because I have a bunch of Etsy orders that I need to get done today. So this is the way that I set things up. You see I have two computer screens here and essentially on this screen, I put my Etsy orders so I can just see them and I literally just kind of click and I see all the orders that I have and I just do them in order. <laughs> it's not even rocket science, I just do them in order. But because it's embroidery, the way that I have to do it is on this screen down here, I have to pull up my embroidery software and I have to actually create the design because the designs aren't created. <laughs> I have to create the design, I have to tell the embroidery machine how I want um, the design stitched out essentially so that's what i have to do and i pretty much um just do that back and forth i'll create the design i'll run it to my embroidery machine and it takes a long time depending on the design sometimes it can be as quick as 20 minutes sometimes it can take like two hours to embroider something so it just depends and in between going to the machine i'm just designing i'm doing extra stuff putting stuff together so that's what i'm about to do let's get to work so this is essentially what it looks like when i first start off it looks like nothing <laughs> just used the last little bit of topper that I had the um, soluble water soluble um, stabilizer that I put on top of my garment so I have to run to the store and I have to get some more because every product that I'm embroidering today requires that almost except for the graduation sole. so let's go to Joann's really quickly okay I just got to Joann's guys I am literally here at Joann's 
multiple times a week. I know the managers, I know the cashiers, I know everybody. So let's go in here. I'm just gonna get two things. I really need to see if they have a specific type of thread that I want and I gotta get this stabilizer so I can do um, these robes I need to embroider. Let's go. I just got back home and I am shocked and surprised that the embroidery that I put on before I left is actually done because normally what happens is the thread breaks or something happens and I have to come and fix it but it did it all by itself look looks fabulous huh So I just realized that I messed up this robe. You see all of that white thread? Well, that's supposed to be black because this is a black robe. <laughs> so I forgot to change the thread color. So that means I'm gonna have to hop on Amazon and I'm gonna have to order another robe so that I can get it in two days and this order will not be late to my customer. Believe it or not, it is already 2.39 in the afternoon. Time is going by so fast. I paused my embroidery machine because I want to check in with my virtual assistant. She only works four hours, so she's about to log off at three. So I wanted to check in and see how her day went, if she had any questions, anything I need to clarify, kind of review um, the stuff that she did today to make sure like we're on the same track moving forward. Um, I actually just sent her a link to my Zoom meeting, so I'm waiting for her to log on. Um, I'll mark in the email. I also need to segregate that into a different folder so that we can, you know, we can filter yes. and we can check it. So it, Yes, that's, that's exactly right. what I need. <laughs> Because I, as you see, I'm missing out on opportunities because I can't I read all my emails. So <laughs> I need you to help me figure this out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's why I'm here to help you. And there's also one thing. Hey guys, so I just got off the phone with my VA. She is in the Philippines and she, I asked her what the time difference was. 
Um, and she told me that it is like two something in the morning over there. And her whole thing is like, she just has to work when I want her to work. And I feel horrible about that because what she's doing for me literally can be done while I sleep at night. And I told her, I want her to work while I sleep, which is like her afternoon. And that way, when I wake up at 7 a.m., all the work is done and I'm just reviewing her work throughout the day. So she's sleeping while I'm, she's working while I'm sleeping, but essentially that's, her regular daytime hours so we work that out and then i'm going to review everything she's done for me but i just want you to see real quick how amazing these emails are looking this is the spreadsheet that i i have her that she created essentially it tells me the name it tells me how urgent something is if i need to reply who sent it And there's the UPS guy. Hello. Uh -oh. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see what's in the HelloFresh box. I always, I hope you guys can hear me because my embroidery machine is going on and it's really loud. So I'm in the kitchen and I hope that you can hear me. Um, forgot to pick my meals so the way that hello hello fresh works is you're supposed to pick your meals um the week before they deliver and my due date is thursday so i need to have my meals picked by wednesday because they start boxing my thing on thursday and then i receive it by monday so i forgot to pick my meals and sometimes the default meals are really good and then sometimes the default meals are like damn it i should have picked my meals <laughs> So I don't know what's gonna be in this box today. So let's see what meals I have. Um, okay, we have meatballs. And then we have buffalo spice crispy chicken cutlets. That doesn't look too bad. And then we have tostados. These look good. Mm, you might have that tonight. You might have that tonight. Maybe, I don't know. I don't feel like cooking. Um, usually my mom cooks. So, for those who don't know what it looks like in the inside, let me show you. Okay, so it comes with the meals. Tilt this down like that. Perfectly labeled and everything for you. And then you pull it out and it tells you what each meal is like so so you know what you're eating they also um sometimes get freebies in here so it looks like they're giving like a free sample of this um korean chili sauce i probably won't eat that and then at the very bottom i'll tilt this so you can see this is where they put the meat it's under these are ice so they stay frozen the entire time and everything just grab these out so they're perfectly portioned this is ground beef this is ground pork and this is going to be my chicken so i'm just going to put this stuff up for all of my embroiderers out there i use a water soluble stabilizer on the top of these plush robes to help the stitches not sink in and so this is me literally just spraying the robe down with nothing but water and as you see the stabilizer just disappears underneath and then on the back i use a really soft um cutaway stabilizer on the back another tip for my small business owners out there this is just a snapshot of my PayPal account and this is where I send some customers invoices so like if they don't order from my Etsy shop and they order say directly through word of mouth or something I may just send them an invoice and this is me sending them reminders because I sometimes I send out these invoices to people who request them and then I don't get paid so if I don't get paid I don't start their order so I just go ahead and send them all little reminders just like this say hey <laughs> don't forget 
to pay this or else I will cancel your order. So remember that you can do that in PayPal. So it is now almost four o'clock in the afternoon. Don't pay attention to that clock because the battery stopped working a very long time ago. <laughs> And I have not gotten around to changing it yet. I'm spraying water on this one about to throw it into the dryer real quick So I'm going to call it a day for now Because um one of my friends just hit me up and they want to go to happy hour and it's almost 4 30 and happy hour starts at 4 already So, um, I'm just gonna call it quits because I've had a rough day like I literally messed up two garments today um and I'm like, wow. <laughs> so it's time for me just to step back, you know? Sometimes you have those days where it's just crazy. So I am just going to shut everything off for the rest of today. And then I'm gonna start back bright and early in the morning. I actually, before I go, I actually got some new packages in from Amazon and from, I don't know. I think all from Amazon. I usually get a lot of um, packages delivered. <laughs> So what I showed you at the beginning of the vlog was essentially um, what had already been delivered. Now I'll show you what got delivered today because I think some of the stuff that just got delivered today I actually really truly need. So I mean honestly I need everything because a lot of my orders I told you are based upon me placing orders for them. So let's open this one up and see what we have here. Are heat shrink bags um I honestly don't even know if I need these anymore the reason that I ordered these were for my um stationery so I just did a big party invitation stationery order and I wanted to wrap um the station the the invitations in um shrink wrap but I found some shrink wrap in my closet because I have almost everything in that closet. Um, and I forgot that I ordered these. So these might be going back to Amazon. Let's see what else we have. We have this. I actually know what this is and I'm so very excited about it. Um, where are my scissors? Because guys... Being a solo entrepreneur is a struggle. Don't let nobody tell you different. I mean, you literally have to do everything and be everybody. You got to be the admin, admin assistant. You got to be the photographer. You got to be the manufacturer. You got to be the supply chain. <laughs> you got to be the accountant. You got to be everything. <laughs> so, um, within here, here, it looks just like a white piece of, of big paper, but um, this is a photography backdrop because when I take my product photos, I have invested, and I guess I should do a video for you guys about all the equipment I have and stuff I invested in for my small business. So essentially, um, I have like the, the photo boxes, but I have issues with those photo boxes and I don't like using mine. So it's just underneath the bed back here because I don't even want to deal with it. And so then I have been just rigging up a system where I use like a small backdrop that came with the photo box, but I use it just on my desk. And then I have to like finagle it to make it look good. It's just been a struggle taking my product photography. So I actually ordered the proper size backdrop. This backdrop is... um. 48 by 80 inches so 48 wide and 80 inches long so that way what my goal is you see over here like where the clock is and like the vacuum cleaner i plan on i think setting this up over there so that i can always take my product photos in one place and just be ready to go or if i can't do it right there because that's essentially where the door is so i might I don't want to be walking over this all the time. I may put it where this bed is because I actually never sit on the bed. <laughs> so I can just make that the photography studio. So I'm really excited about this. And then I have one more package. So let me go get it. Oh, and I can feel what this is in this package. I just ordered, I feel like I just ordered this last night. You know what's interesting with Amazon? Like sometimes you get your stuff like the next day and then sometimes it takes two days, whatever. Oh, okay, let's pull these out. There we go. So guys, 
Okay, it smells like plastic, but okay. So let me pull these out so and show you exactly what is inside of this. I'm excited for myself and for my customers out there because I am going to turn this into one of my new products. So you guys, this is how my brain thinks. These are slippers. <laughs> they are um let me pull them out. Okay. So they are slippers. See? Slippers, slippers, slippers. They're not like fancy slippers, but let me tell you what I'm thinking with these slippers. I want to turn these slippers into um, guest slippers for when like they come to your house. Like, I don't necessarily have a shoe off policy in my house, but my house is just really clean. So I guess when people come over, they just automatically think they're supposed to take their shoes off. Like I don't force them to or anything, but they just do it anyway. <laughs> and so what I want to do is um, have these available at the front. If people want to slide into these and walk around the house, like they're really soft. But I plan on, of course, customizing it with my logo or my resident like i'm gonna create some type of design that i'm gonna put on these so that my guests will um you know it'll be cute and fancy and they feel special walking around my house and actually these are these are not like the type of slippers you would buy necessarily for yourself because they're not that thick you know like i mean they're soft but they're not that thick but they're good just for guests to throw in and off and then i also want to test these out because i notice a lot of people like to order like bridal sh slippers like uh when they're ordering robes for like uh bridesmaids you know getting ready robes and all this type of stuff so i'm already making robes i want to see about adding some slippers so i'm gonna start off with these if they turn out good um and then if they look good i'll probably add these to my etsy shop so that brides or or other people who just want like guest slippers in their house you can order some guest slippers right i mean who doesn't and those oh i have one more thing that i ordered right here okay this is here and this goes along with i already know what it is it goes along with my photography backdrop because this is actually what is it called okay it's recall it's called a re reflective cardboard and why do i have to, there's a two pack Oh, okay. It comes two in a pack. I thought I ordered one, but it's a two pack. So they're reflective boards. So because I need to be able, I already told you when I started this video how dark it is in here. That's why I always have lights on. So I need to be able to reflect the light. And these boards help you do that. Like the white helps you bounce light, you know. And then you have a reflective one like that's silver. And then you have a black one because sometimes you need to block the light. So I need these and it came two in a pack. So I'm really excited about getting my product photography just on point because I mean, that's what people click on when they see good pictures and they like the picture, they click on it. They want more information and then hopefully they'll buy. So that like, that's essentially my objective and I got to level up. All right. I am, I think it is now, um, after 4:30, so I'm going to log off. Go have some drinks and then I'll catch you guys in the morning.